Hi guys. I apologize in advance. I'm gonna be in bed for this video because I am not only tired, but I just got my blanket from Nelson Drive and I'm testing it out and I don't wanna get out of the bed. Really, really comfy. It came in a really, really cute package. And I picked these colors, but I'm trying to be girly. This is usually my color, black or gray, but I went ahead and got pink to attempt to be girly. Attempt to be girly. But yes, I'm in the bed, so um, we're pretty much gonna have a really informal, impromptu talk about the lock phases. Let me sit up. All right, so there are five lock phases that you need to know about when you are locking your hair. One thing I really have noticed is um, from starting people's locks and um, starting people's locks and maintaining their locks is that a lot of people want locks, they like locks, but really don't understand them. And if you are someone who's contemplating locks and you really want locks, I would suggest really understanding what locks are, how they form, why they form the way that they do, and what to expect. Because I think a lot of people are like freaked out when they see what starts happening in between that starting the locks and that first wash, especially after that first wash. So we're going to talk about the lock phases. Phase one is the beginner lock phase. In this phase, you have just started your locks, either with coils or two-strand twist. This doesn't really apply to instant locks because instant locks are um, made to mimic a much later phase. So in the beginner phase, so you're starting locks traditionally, you have spiral configurations of hair that is open. Even if you do a two-strand twist, it's still a, some sort of a spiral opening and most of the time um, it's conducive to how your hair naturally spirals or curls or coils. Um, in this stage the hair is really shiny and it's pretty much your foundation, your base that your locks will grow off of. I'll include some pictures here of what that looks like. Okay, phase two is the pre-lock phase. In this phase, in this phase, your hair starts to kind of try and find its way. It starts to interlace and mesh. Um, it starts catching your shedded hair. In this phase, the separate units that are parted and coiled or and or two strands twisted, they start to kind of separate. Um, I mean, of course, they're already separated, but they start kind of doing it themselves, separating and puffing up, which is the first sign of locking is when your locks open up and you get something called a bud. So they start to, to expand so they can contract. 
the repetition the repetition of expanding and contracting is what helps the lock to mature at this stage they are no longer glossy or smooth or shiny they're starting to form which is a good thing you'll usually have a little bulb or um, or a little a bud you can see it in the lock it almost looks like the lock is pregnant and I'll include some pictures of that <laughs> Now phase three is the sprouting phase. It's when your locks go even further into this process called locking. It's when your ends start trying to seal. You start trying to get bulbs at the ends because you'll, you'll, you will more than likely not get a bud at the end um, when your hair starts trying to lock. But once you enter the sprouting phase, that's when the ends will try to lock and you'll get buds in several areas, in several areas of your locks, not just at the top, not just in the middle, but you'll get it at the ends also. This is a very good sign. This process kind of depends on texture because a lot of people with looser texture, their ends normally never seal. And um, with people with um, tighter or kinkier textures, their ends seal with no problem. So basically in this phase, the interlacing and meshing just continues and it gets into a whole other level because now your locks are really progressing at this point. I will include, I will include examples right here. And phase four is the growth phase. In this phase, your locks will start retaining some length. Now, if you started with really long hair, you may have experienced significant shrinkage. And someone asked a really good question in one of my um, more recent videos. She said, why does it seem like people who start with long hair lose way more length than people who start with short hair? And the answer is simple. It's the fact that people who start with short hair didn't have much length to lose kind of and more specifically their short hair is kind of growing as it's locking and you, the shrinkage is more apparent on longer hair because the hair was already long visually and when it starts locking it shrinks up significantly so it's it's it looks more dramatic than it would on short hair if that makes sense but it's still the same process the hair is still having to shrink up, but you don't notice it because the hair was already short, if that makes sense. In this phase, also the hair will will be frizzy still. Um, I forgot to mention frizz in all the stages, including this one, in all the previous stages, including this one. Frizz, frizz, frizz is a factor, it happens. But in this area, you'll, you'll in this phase, you'll have areas that are a little bit more solid than others. Um, that signify your locks are trying to mature.
Now stage five. Stage five is the maturation stage where your locks have found their way. At this stage, your locks will be obviously much longer. They'll be more dense. They'll be more dull. They won't reflect as much light as your coils did. The ends will have completely sealed or just sealed to the point that your hair will allow if you have a loose texture. So yeah, this is that's pretty much all the five stages of locking and it's important to understand that in the first stage to the second stage, even sometimes the third, you may experience a lot of frizz and you never think it's going to go away, but that's part of the process. Some people's hair takes longer than others when it comes to the frizz. Some people's hair unravels more than others. Unraveling is not a bad thing. Unraveling doesn't mean that your hair is not locking, it's not going to lock. Your job, if you're retwisting your own hair, or the stylist's job, if they're retwisting your hair, is to reinforce that process. Reinforce the locking process. Retwist, palm roll. If you're freeforming, your hair will find its way eventually. There's just stages that you have to go through to lock. It's not just, oh, you know, in a few months my hair it looks like mature locks. No, you have to go through certain stages depending on your hair texture. It could take from six months to a whole year. I know with me, even after a whole year, I my hair still didn't really look like locks. It still looked like I had some twist in because I started my hair with two strand twist. So be patient. I wasn't patient when it when I wasn't patient in the moment. I was just um, kind of frustrated that my hair wasn't locking like I thought because I was one of those people who thought my hair was supposed to be locks like that I did not understand the process um, but once I understood the process I was like oh wow but by then my hair was already mature but um, yeah it takes a while it's gonna take some time if you want to lock naturally it's gonna take some time um, now instant locks are a whole other other topic I can make a video on that if you guys want me to so let me know but yeah that is it for this video you guys Thank you so much for watching a video every day in December, hopefully, no pressure, <laughs> but I'll see you guys next time. Uh, those of you who are asking me about appointments and availability, I am no longer taking appointments, no longer taking appointments right now. I will be resuming um, taking appointments in February of 2019 and I will have a new location that I will be announcing, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for all the love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, if you don't follow me on social media already, please do so. DXLYNLOCKS at, G at Gmail. <laughs> DXLYNLOCKS at Gmail is how you can inquire and, and get quotes and all of that. But DXLYNLOCKS on Instagram 
is my social media and you can also follow me on Facebook, DXLYN Vlogs. All right. Bye guys.